I'm always fascinated by uh, new technologies um, and actually trying to push the, push the limits of technology. So with these robots, trying to make them smaller and smaller is very challenging. If we wanted to design a robot that is less than a millimeter in size, we don't have technology to stick a battery on it. So we need to use some external force, external field to apply uh, power and locomotion to these robots. We're using a magnetic field, so as long as the robot has some magnetic properties, we can control the magnetic field in the workspace to control the position and orientation of the robot. There's a lot of uh, research interest in trying to understand the interaction between mechanical forces and cells and how, how they develop. Um, so a cell cytoskeleton will reconfigure itself depending on what kind of forces uh, are being applied to it as it's developing. Uh, so if you push on a cell, a, a body on the outside, the cytoskeleton will be stiffer in that area to resist that force. So you can use uh, controlled application of forces to help develop cells different ways. Cells that are cancerous have different properties than those that are non-cancerous cells. So if you have a small uh, tool which can apply uh, known forces or record known forces at a particular location, these can be used for safe biological manipulation of cells and tissues. The problem is how do you get a force sensor at this small scale uh, and the forces are very small, they're micronewton level forces. Um, and so our product, we're trying to develop a, uh, a wireless micro robot which has onboard force sensing capabilities. So it's the first micro robot with true onboard sensing. Uh, and so the way we do that is with a vision based uh, force sensor. We use an overhead camera system to visualize where the robot is and uh, its current location and where it needs to go. We can construct waypoints or goal points along the path and the robot can autonomously navigate to them. Um, and then once we're actually pushing on an object, we again use our camera to track the displacement. So we, we track features like edges or corners and we can track how they move relative to something in the robot which is not moving. So we get these relative displacements of these uh, of the small soft structure and by knowing the stiffness and knowing the displacement then we can back out the force. So it's just like a spring where the force equals stiffness times displacement. We have the same relationship here and we, we can record the stiffness and the forces in two directions in the plane. We're really excited about these uh, force sensing micro robots and you could uh, imagine different microsurgery applications where you need to get to um, around some obstacle in an artery to not only push it to maybe dissect it or to uh, inject some other kind of material into the cell. Also could be loaded with some drug for targeted drug delivery. So once you get to that cell location or isolate that cell from the other cells, you could then release the drug uh, into the cell or tissue. We've actually made a custom version which can fit inside a invert optical microscope, which is a traditional apparatus which you see behind me that biologists use. So in order to use these robots, all they would need to do is insert our little coil system. They already have a camera in their setup, so it'd be minimally invasive for them to use this in their biology labs. A low cost, easy tool, which they use with existing setups that they have.